Assalamualaikum and good day to my panel 1, Madam Saira, and also my panel 2, which is Madam Nur Afika, and also everybody who is currently watching my video presentation right now. First and foremost, I would like to introduce myself. I'm Muhammad Ibrahim bin Muhammad Sazali, a student in Yatim Kota Kinabalu, currently taking his diploma in tourism management. My student card is 2020715211. For what I am situated right now, um, I am currently a part 5 student as I am on my industrial training uh, in HTT 391. To begin the start of my journey in my internship, the first task that I was assigned is to create my own resume and application letter that was provided from UITM to, my, to an industry. After finishing it, us students were advised to search for an industry or comp the first place that interests me was Pilok since I knew that place was the most popular tourist attraction and it is known for the Pilok Orangutan Rehabilitation Center. However, my friend suggested me to apply to RDC, Rainforest Discovery Center, because they take interns regularly and it is a good place for industrial training students. I knew Rainforest Discovery Center before, but only the existence of the place, only to find out there are trees, plants, and facilities. I did not know what is the place about and how they operate. These matters drawn me to make a decision by taking Rainforest Discovery Center as my industrial training place. I opened my mind to discover new things as other centers in Spilok I already have known what it is about besides Rainforest Discovery Center. Application letter were to send out to the forestry department as well as my resume uh, by emailing and messages. Forestry department then accepted my application and moved me to RDC as an intern. That day forward, I finished my industrial training by working at Rainforest Discovery Center for four months and the knowledge and experience I have gathered was very life-changing. To sum up in this video presentation, I will be talking about the background of the company, my roles and function, what I have learned during the process, uh, things that I cherish during my internship, and my contributions to the company. Starting from the background of the company, or I considered it as a center, the name of it is Rainforest Discovery Center or it is also known as RDC that I have mentioned before. However, Rainforest Discovery Center is not a tourism center, but rather a tourist attraction and a place for all. Only the attractions are what considered Rainforest Discovery Center as a tourism destination. The place is located at Jalan Fabia Spilo, PO Box 1407, 90715, Sandakan Sabah. They also have a contact number which is 60089-533-780. It is a 19 km drive from Sandakan City to Rainforest Discovery Center. To introduce RDC, it is the epitome of wildlife and forest conservation center that can be found in Sandakan Sabah. From what we hear by the name Rainforest Discovery Center, it shows the place is not just about trees, but rather uh, it is about uncovering the fascinating wonders deep within the rainforest trees. The name mentioned to learn by discovering new facts and species of floras and faunas as well as the environment around. Talking about the environment, this matter serves the main purpose of Rainforest Discovery Center which is to spread awareness of environmental education to everyone. From what I have experienced, environmental education is not a subject that is focused on schools or other educational centers. 
even though it is important for us to know more about it. By this subject, Rainforest Discovery Center has done a fantastic job towards their goal. Environmental education serves the purpose of conserving trees, practicing tree arts which is recycle, reduce and reuse, take initiative to solve problems and actions um, to protect the environment with forestry, forestry department on our side. Moving on to RDC's history, um, the place begins in the early 1970s and 80s as trees that are present today are planted during that period of time. In 1972, Rainforest Discovery Center was built as a botanical garden and they have been planting numerous plants and trees including imported, domestic and local as to improve landscapes, attractions and to be researched for. In 1996, RDC was only a small environmental education center and the year where it starts their operation towards environmental education, also known as EE. But it was mostly for school trips, planning school-related activities and providing teaching practices uh, about EE for teachers and lecturers. In the same year, there is merely much building or man-made structure as it only consists of one exhibition hall and an 800-meter jungle trail uh, circling around the lake that can be found in Rainforest Discovery Center. RDC had an active construction by widening the road and creating sizable structure that are necessary for future visitors or tourists and organizing events or programs as a venue. RDC is open daily from 8am to 5pm and it was officially first opened to the public in August 2007. Since RDC needs to collect money to keep the organization and the environmental education program running, um, it starts to welcome visitors. As a result, RDC, which is managed by Sabah Forestry Department's Environmental Education Division, has developed into one of the state's most well-known environmental education center in Sandakan. Moving on to the attractions that can be found in RDC, the first thing that comes to my mind is the breathtaking scenery surrounds it. In this large setting, animals can be found walking freely without its cage. It varies from other wildlife refuges as tourists are to anticipate uh, seeing the animals itself. For example, Bornean Sun Bay Conservation Center, um, they will anticipate what to be seen in the center, such as the Bornean Sun Bear. Instead, in Odyssey, it is dependent on the species or animals in question. If we are fortunate enough, we might stumble upon wild and unique animals that can be found in Odyssey, such as Western Tarsiers, rare birds, Hornbills, orangutans, slow lorries, mouse deer, huge fly squirrel, snakes, and small insects. The trails are also one of the attractions for visitors to wander around and difficult trails for uh, hardcore hikers. In the trails also can be found two of the tallest and oldest trees in RDC, which is Pilok Giant, a 65 meter high and it is equivalent to a 19-story building and Kabili monster the tallest and largest one standing at 74 meter high as tall as a 25-story building and both comes from the Dipterocarpaceae tree family that can be found in Rainforest Discovery Center In terms of the facilities, there is a famous skywalk present in RDC called Canopy Walkway which is one of the Sandakan's most iconic landmarks and the longest skywalk in Sabah. Stretching over 620 meter long and 1.5 meter wide and 27 meter above ground level. Bristlehead Tower, Trogon Tower and the tallest one, a 7 storey Hornbill Tower are the three primary towers that can be found at the skywalk which helps the birders or visitors to get images or take a closer look of other animals or birds 
that can be found near the skywalk. Along the way in the trails and canopy walkway, uh, you will be able to find fascinating things like animals and plants that are rare to be seen but common in the area. Alongside it can be found information panels all around covering uh, interesting facts about animals that are present there and plants and trees. This serves the purpose of EE is to discover more about floras and faunas not only in the trails or skywalk but when you are sitting or resting on a bench or going into toilets where infographics are to be seen everywhere in the center. There is also an exhibition hall where more infographics and displays are situated in there and all visitors can have access to it. Other than that, huge events and activities are one of the attractions in the center. ADC hosts events regarding to EE such as International Day of Forest, um, Earth Day, and World Environment Day annually. Fun games and attractions are what makes the center known in the area. There is a program called EE Race, which is an EE training for teachers and HOB Roadshow that spreads awareness of protecting the forest to locals under the HOB area. RDC operates by funding from Sabah Forestry Department and incomes from 35,000 to 40,000 visitors uh, yearly and it generates uh, funds to programs and events in RDC. Image above shows the fee for the entrance ticket to RDC. Moving on to my roles and functions, doing my internship in RDC is divided into three units which is Environmental Education Unit, Arboretum Unit, and Administration Unit. Each unit serves a different purpose and task. For EE Unit, it focuses on maintaining and working with EE. EE Unit works in various assignments such as going into trails, dealing with visitors, and working in the office. Designing, idea making, and guiding is what I get the most from this unit. Next, we have Arboretum unit, which it exposes me to life skills that includes muscles, patience, and consistency. Arboretum is a unit that focuses on creating and maintaining the facilities in RDC. And lastly, administration unit, where it focuses on office works, correspondences, and time management which also increased my knowledge of Red Forest Discovery Center. This unit holds all financial reports and information status in RDC. Supervisors will be appointed to each of these units to monitor the intern's work. What I have learned during the process of the mentioned units is on the E unit, I have met various posters, certificates and e-flyers for events and programs. We also learn to maintain infographic panels by cleaning it for visitors visible to read. I also learn event planning and participated in both for I also learn I also learn event planning and participated in both for International Day of Forest event. Guiding is also mentioned as I guided groups from other organizations such as Polytechnic Sandakan and Tadika Educates. Idea making is also what I have learned by introducing new games and things I recommend for RDC like improving signages and what to put for visitors to attract more and prevent difficulties. Managing meetings and creating meeting minutes are also the things that I have learned. In the Arboretum unit, it had taught me life works. For example, trimming bushes, um, planting, uh, cutting down trees, uh, blowing dried leaves, repainting and replacing new signages, going into difficult trails, and so on. Cutting trees to generate clear pathways for visitors in the trails, blowing dried leaves to prevent slippage, and reporting damaged signages to renew. There was also a task for me to repair two ATVs to, that will be displayed on the World Environmental Day event and HOB Roadshow.
Arboretum unit also takes care of the plants in Plant Discovery Garden by weeding unwanted grasses to prevent competition from the original plants and watering and fertilizing the plants to make it more healthy. From what I've learned from the admin unit is to make correspondences for other agencies and taking care of meetings in the catch room and programs in the rainforest hall. We occasionally receive instruction from Madam Bernadette and Madam Facilia to clean the rooftop garden and inspect all the electronics that has been installed in the new building. However, we also inform the administration department that the design of the meeting tables may be more attractive and could persuade other businesses to hire venue for events. Moving on, the things that I treasured the most during my internship was to learn more about new things and exposing myself to new surroundings. I have met many acquaintances along the way as well a new hobby to try. For example, bird watching is what I have learned since RDC is common for birding and an important place for it. This is because there are varieties of birds including rare and unique like hornbill and pita birds. Other than that, I also cherish my moments during outstations to far places like Kota Kinabalu, Telupit, and Spiloklaut. I developed my communication skills as before I was a shy whenever I talk to public but now I tend to get more comfortable when doing so. I've been talking to various types of groups and teams as well leading them in RDC. My contributions to the company are I have met good ideas regarding the activity and facility. For example, during meetings, I talked about possible problems, solutions, and ideas for an event or program. I have also renewed signages in RDC by repainting and reinstalling to a brand new one. Before and after internship, I have contributed to promote the organization regularly by posting it through social media such as Facebook, WhatsApp, and Instagram as well spreading environmental education to my friends and families. As a conclusion, Rainforest Discovery Center is a great place for, industri for industrial training because it gives students first-hand experience with how an organization works and operates, particularly the one that focuses on tourists. I learned something new every day during my internship and thanks to numerous highly skilled and knowledgeable people who are eager to mentor me along the way. I put a lot of effort on learning new things so I can easily mold myself um, into the exact shape they are looking for. I have listened to the staff's life advices during my time there and I have tried to adjust how workplaces are as well encouraging us to try something new so that our lives won't be as boring as usual. RDC fits to where I want to be in the future and I do recommend UATM Kota Kinabalu, especially the tourism course, to make RDC as their go-to place for, industri for industrial training students. I am very thankful to everyone and the staffs at RDC for guiding me throughout my internship. That is all from my presentation. I'm Mohamed Ibrahim and once again, thank you for watching my video presentation.